What's going on growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. Now is the time of year when we harvest our spring broccoli and this year it's looking better than it ever has. So today I want to give you five tips for growing bigger, better broccoli. Let's go! The first tip to growing bigger broccoli has to do with location and timing. Broccoli prefers growing in full sun, but if you live in an area where it's really hot, you may want to grow that broccoli in partial shade and this partial shade can help prevent it from bolting too early. But if there's not enough sun, you may have fruit or broccoli heads that are just a little small. Let me show you some of the ones in here that didn't get enough sun. They're small and then I'll show you ones in a location that gets plenty of sun. Right now I'm hanging out in the seven year old food forest. Straight above me here is a mulberry tree, dropping a lot of mulberries down, which actually shades a good amount of this area for most of the day because that mulberry is on the south side. In this food forest, we've got a lot of fruit trees. We're producing a lot of food, but we also stick annuals in where we can. And some sections, the annuals do great and they're really productive where we get light between the trees, but sometimes there's just not enough light. I think that's what the issue is with these broccoli in the back. I'll bring you closer. The growth, you will see the growth is just a little bit stunted and the flower heads are already starting to form when the broccoli is really young. So this, this broccoli plant's tiny. This flower head is small and it shouldn't be happening. Temperature is really important for broccoli as well. They like cool days and cool nights. So if you live in a location where it gets hot early, you wanna get a variety that is short. Some cultivars are 45 days, some are 85. So if you've got summer coming quick in a short spring, get a variety with a short amount of days to harvest. In most locations, you can go broccoli in the spring and in the fall. When I grow it in the spring, I prefer planting indoors or in my greenhouse about four to eight weeks before the last frost date. This way, if the weather changes quick and spring short and summer comes, I know I can get a good harvest because I started my things earlier. I transplanted them out. There's something you need to know though when transplanting and that'll tie into tip number two. Let me bring you into the new food forest where the broccoli is lush and growing great. The second tip to growing bigger broccoli has to do with avoiding premature heading. Oftentimes, this premature heading comes from transplanting out our starts too late. The ideal time to do this is when the start's about six inches tall or has about two to four true leaves. If we wait too long, the plant can get a little stressed. It can start to head up and then we'll get that early premature heading. So you can see here, this broccoli and the one behind me that I'll show you, they were transplanted out the same time as the ones that I showed you in the seven-year-old food forest. These ones are way further along and that's not because I transplanted them out too late. The ones in the seven-year-old food forest, it's because they're not getting enough light. As you can see here in this section, we get plenty of light, we have good soil, and as a result, we've got beautiful broccoli. The third tip to growing bigger broccoli ties a little bit in with the second. So after you transplant your broccoli out, say about two weeks later, it's advised to go out and pull some of your wood chips back, put some black leaf mulch down or some compost or some fish emulsion, something to feed that broccoli to keep that accelerated growth. That's the trick, to continue the accelerated growth this way the broccoli will do real well because you don't want any stunts. That stunt will slow it down and help really could knock down the size of your harvest. The fourth tip to growing bigger broccoli is to know that she loves water. A good way to hold on a lot of the moisture for broccoli is to have that thick wood chips down. The mulch is so important for retaining moisture, for feeding your plants, and just for building better soil in the future. One thing to note though, you guys know that I'm not big on watering, but when it comes to broccoli during dry spells, I make sure I water all my brassicas. These are plants that have high levels of water. They require that. So I wanna make sure I'm helping them and continuing that accelerated growth that I talked about last tip. The fifth step to growing bigger and better broccoli has to do with harvesting. We wanna come out and harvest our broccoli at the right time so it's not too small and we're missing out on how big it could be. We also want to make sure we come out and harvest it before it starts to flower. So you see the florets, you'll see them on the broccoli here. And as it starts to turn yellow or starts to separate and spread out, that means that it's getting a little late. So we want to make sure we come and cut those before that. And it's important to note, after we cut out the main head of the broccoli, a lot of the varieties, especially the heirlooms, will continue to shoot out little smaller side shoots of little heads of broccoli. You can see some of them form there. So don't get rid of your broccoli after you cut the main one out. Continue to come and harvest them as it produces heads. You'll also notice here that we have a few different varieties of broccoli with different size heads at different times. We did this because the length of harvest is different so we could extend our harvest. 
We don't just have a bunch of heads all at once that we can't eat. That's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it or you found value in it, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That helps the channel a lot. Also, put a comment down below if you think there's something I missed in regards to tips for broccoli, because that'll really help out this little community that we have in here. And check us out on Steam It too, because we love posting on there. The food forest is looking better than it ever has. It's looking pretty epic, if you ask me. I can't wait to bring you that next installment and the new food forest too. Uh, it's good. All these investments we're making, they're starting to pay off, and I can't wait to bring you guys along for it. James Prigioni is out.